Right, today I'm going to show you how to change the battery inside the Sega Dreamcast after it's died. Because I, I know some people get annoyed with the way the date and time pops up all the time after the battery's died. A battery is soldered into these. I've already done the mod on this, but I was going to show you what I used and how I did it. Well, one thing I used was a flathead screwdriver, one of these lithium batteries, and they are the CR2032 batteries, 3 volt. You could pick them up from any hardware store. Oh. And I did also use sellotape to tape the battery back on. If you like, you can you can solder it back on if you want to. But it's just easier with sellotape. You just wrap it round. As long as the two connectors are touching the batteries, it's fine. Well, I'll show you what I did now. And I'll show you how to get into your Dreamcast. First thing you need to do is remove this, the modem. Now you can see all the screws in your console. The modem was blocking one. Right now you've taken all four of the screws off. You will get the Dreamcast, turn it back over carefully and then just lift, that's it, just lift in one motion, just up, and you'll have the top of the Dreamcast in your hand, now, now, you can see the inner bits, sorry about the lighting, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but that's where the battery is, you will need to use a flathead screwdriver to pry the battery off the connectors that are there but once it's off it's simple but you have to be very careful when prying the battery off as if you wiggle the connectors too much they'll just snap off you'll have to do, start doing a big soldering job then which just complicates matters altogether Yeah. Yeah, as you can see mine's taped up as I did it to replace it with, with these batteries these, these lithium batteries you have to make sure sure you have the plus the plus on these batteries facing towards the back of the console and the minus of these batteries facing towards the front of the console then what you would do is get some sellotape okay, and you would Uh, I'm not sure if you can really see it but you would start taping a little bit it's these little pins that are sticking out of the board they're very fragile so you might so you're going to have to really be careful with them because they can break off and then put the battery in and start wrapping it around the battery or just however much until the two sides are touching the battery after you've done that put the console back together turn it on enter your date and time, turn it off, turn it back on. But one thing I must say, if you want the battery to last, you have to make sure it's a rechargeable. A standard one would, would die in a few months, maybe even a few weeks. I haven't tried it myself, because I've put a new rechargeable one in here.